Welcome to Mars. Okay. You know. So, so your your rap career is over in your then, mind. Yeah. It's time to go digital. You get into the graphics. Yes. Explain how that happens. Okay. So I was always playing with the graphics a little bit because at the time, like I said, we weren't making money. So I was like, I didn't want to wait on a graphic designer and I didn't want to pay a graphic designer. Right. You know? So I started making my own covers. And people started liking them. And then here and there, uh, people would hit me up for them. And I remember uh, Combi from Oakland. Right. Uh, he hits me for a graphic Shout designer. out to Combi. Shout out to Combi, our block. Yeah. For so sure. he hits me for a, a, a cover. Uh -huh. um, and I'm like, I don't even know the sizing of the cover yet, right. like, you know? So I look it up online, boom, boom, TuneCore. Uh, what's the, su uh, the sizing for TuneCore? 1500 by 1500. Yep. 300 DPI. Yes. And um, I get it, and this is my first real cover that somebody pays me for. Right. It's Combi. And um, I do it, he likes it. So I'm like, okay, now I can take this somewhere. So then I start just hitting my like rapper friends up, and I'll do one for them for free, you know? Yeah. And I'll even let them know, like, hey, I'll do this one for you, but, you know, next one, you know, if you like it, we'll go forward and we'll work something out, you know? Yeah. And um, it just starts to take off like that, man. And, and then um, did you ever go to school for it or anything like that? Or did you, were you a YouTube baby? No, I wasn't, didn't even YouTube it. Like, I literally got it in front of me, started just taking pictures, yeah. started using cuts, you know, different backgrounds, replacing them. Just and then, playing with the programs, figuring it out. Playing with the programs. Because sometimes you just got to figure shit out, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I definitely I definitely can respect that. Okay, so when your combi was probably the first time where you're like, whoa, people like this? Yeah, okay. he paid for it. Right. Yeah. So then after that, who do you start doing artwork for? So um, at the time, we had a, there's a big artist from Stockton at the time. Um, I feel like he was on his way up there, um, who's actually the father of EBK Jabo, uh -huh. who's on his way up there now. Right. His name was Rari. And, um, you know, to me, best Stockton, from rap, uh, best Stockton rapper of all time, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so I started seeing him move up. So I'm like, you know what? Let me start, you know, working with him. And, um, I, you know, I started doing a cover for him. And then I do one. Um, Ren Doja Click hits me. And that was a big one for me. Right. You know, boom. I got the chance to do one for him, Turf Talk and E40. So that was like, you know, Turf Talk, E40. Like, yeah. you know, it started to put me there. And I remember Burner was on Instagram looking for a graphic designer. Boom. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't wait 30 minutes to respond. Bam. Uh, so I got the, that under my belt, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, uh, for the newer artists, you know, I got Young Sloby, Rest in Peace Sloby. Um, I got to do his first album cover. Um, j Bo's Slo Sloby Bryant. Sloby Bryant. That was my work. And I felt like that was at a time, too, where I started to kind of like uh, transition my style of album covers so, was through him. Yeah. So you did uh, Young Sloby. Yeah. And then you were, you were saying J-Bo? J-Bo's like the, uh, the, the projects that he released on SoundCloud yeah. are for me. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else people might recognize? Um, I've done um, the new, there's a new single coming out, Rand and Baby Bash. Um. Who else? So you've done some work for some um I like to throw those names around. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. you know, it, it, you know, it, it'll work for me, you know? So you found some success in that in the graphics world. Yes. And um how was the success in the graphics world either similar or different than the success that you found in the music? Well, in the music thing, everybody does music. Right. So when a artist starts to appreciate you in a sense, need you, the relationships are different. How so? Um, they're not afraid to pay you. You know, when you meet other artists, in a sense, you want to get a verse and they're not nobody yet, you're not expecting to pay. Right. I was a nobody graphic designer. And people were saying, here, I'll pay. Right. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. my relationships grew different with them. Um, you know, uh, Oh, another another artist that I forgot to mention was Pablo Skywalker. Oh, okay. When he started uh, coming around NorCal, the Bay Area in general, um, he tapped in with me through Instagram too. That's when Instagram first started in a sense. And um, having his stamp, him tag me, mm -hmm. is what brought me 
local artists coming to me. Oh, that yeah. was that like successful part that I forget that really like helped me out a lot. 